As John Wayne was filming his movie, the set was right downwind from a nuclear <laughs> test site. Okay, downwind does not mean active testing is occurring at the time of film. Fallout exposure depends on test timing, weather patterns, deposition, and dose, not just location. And the wind carried radioactive dust onto the movie's cast and crew. Possible, but most short-lived isotopes such as iodine-131 were largely gone. The remaining contamination was low-dose chronic exposure, not acute radiation. So this is not walking through a fresh fallout. Now, the government insisted there was no danger, and the film crew trusted them, but... Yeah, back then, the government just focused on acute radiation sickness threshold. They didn't really concern themselves with chronic dose, which we now understand much better. So not explicitly lying, but it is revealing Cold War era radiation science blind spot. Years later, over 90 of them got cancer. Okay, large casts and crews like them are naturally going to accumulate many cancer cases, especially in heavy smokers like John Wayne and older populations. These cancer counts do not prove that it was caused by the nuclear tests. So this is classic base rate neglect. And 46 of them passed away from the disease, including John Wayne, who was killed by stomach cancer. So radiation-induced stomach cancer requires much higher doses and is difficult to separate from John Wayne having smoked a lot and had multiple health issues. So you can't really say radiation caused that by itself. 20 years after shooting the film. Now the government finally admitted they might be responsible. They acknowledge that people downwind might have received non-zero doses, and they did provide compensation in some cases. But it's impossible to know where exactly the cancer came from, so nobody knows for sure. That's definitely true. At low doses, cancer risk is statistical, not diagnostic. You simply can't point to one tumor and say the cancer was radiation caused, since risk is measured across populations rather than individuals.